it's, it's a big question how to encourage a, a workforce or nurses and doctors to work in our organization or in healthcare system in Israel. First of all, it's true that we have the same problem. We have a big shortage of nurses in Israel and we feel that it's going to be in, with doctors too. We are a immigrate, uh, immig immigrate uh, country and in, uh, in the 19s uh, a lot of nurses and doctors came from Russia to Israel. So we have uh, Russia and, uh, and uh, we have doctors and nurses from Russia but now they are um, retired and we feel that it's going down and we trying first of all we trying to open more places in uh, in the in the university and in nursing school to bring students to the to learn the these jobs but it's not so easy i think that first of all i we need to put more uh, focus on our nurses that are working in our organization. We have about 11,000 nurses in our organization. We have 14 hospitals and about uh, 1,300 1, uh, uh, community clinics. So I think that we need to lead them uh, by giving them knowledge uh, 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 to be more satisfied in their job, uh, uh, to give them uh, 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 to go to seminars and uh, to give them uh, um, education. They can go for to learn for education and uh, to try to find way where they're working to make the shifts comfortable for them. They can work half job, quarter of job. They don't need to work full time. They can choose. And th those flexibility that they can work, it's easier for them to come and to work in our organization. They can move from community to hospital because we have hospitals and community. So you know, we are, I'm working in hospital and I know that I'm working in, in this organization. They give me the chance, if I want, I can go to work in the community. In the community, you don't have uh, shifts in night, in evening. We have call center, so we can go work in the call center. Those things that you can go around of jobs during your life, I think it makes our organization more attractive for, for other organization. So, First of all, I'm trying to work and, and to save our manpower to stay in our organization. The second one, how to bring them to come and to work in our organization, as I said, we're trying to say that they can, we give them scholarship, uh, and if they are coming to work in our organization, in the first three years, we, we uh, give them uh, for rent a house. Uh, very near where they are working uh, and uh, we, we allow them, we are paying for them to go to learn if they want to finish a bachelor degree. Uh, those things may, we hope that uh, bring them in our organization. I must say that I don't have the secret words or how you say the rabbit in your package to put it out and say wow I have the uh, the key to solve this problem we really really worried about it and it's going to be worse in the next years in Israel in those days we ha I think that we have enough uh, uh, academic uh, uh, nursing first of all nursing school and not all of the nursing school in Israel now it's academic. We are going to be academic. We have enough uh, academic uh, nursing academic faculty for for uh, 
for educate nurses. Uh, I don't think now in Israel this is the problem. The problem that the students are not coming to study this job.